So we're going to start on the side smash, okay? Like this, okay? Side smash. Um, sometimes you're going to be on this position here. You're going to be on the side of your opponent, dropping the weight of your hips on him. It's actually a really good way for you to pass the guard, okay? You can start like from hooks guard, you cup your, with your form, cup his leg, okay? And then you bring his knee all the way to the other side of your chest. Now you walk and then start smash. Okay? Again, the other side, so like bring his knee, like try to keep your leg open. If it's hard for me to bring his knee, my chest move. Okay? Sometimes I can do this, or sometimes if his leg is too heavy, I go with my chest. So I touch my inside part of my chest and then I start smashing, okay? Both ways work really well. It's pretty easy for you to do this when you're in the hooks guard, okay? And I like to do this, like smash and then sometimes you go back, you bring the put on guard again, because hooks guard, you sit up, you slide, and then I go to the other side, I start like smashing, like no stop. I keep my opponent always sideways because yeah, he doesn't have much attacks when he's side, okay? We're gonna work uh, in the same position that we worked last class, okay? But it's just a little bit different, okay? I'm gonna control here outside. I bring his leg inside and jump with my chest out, outside and then I smash. As I smash, look, I'm gonna trap the top leg, okay? I use uh, this side here to trap his leg, okay? Um, I can bring my bottom leg here too. But at this moment here, you gotta be careful because he can start working on the knee bar here, start lifting you, and he's gonna be on this position here, this sunkaku, okay? So, if that happens, of your leg being here, make sure you cover with this leg here, okay? Because now it's a little bit harder for him to go for the position. The sunkaku, position, the triangle, Sankaku is a triangle. Like he brings his knee close to my chest, and then he lifts and then he locks the triangle, he figure four. This is super powerful, it's super hard for me to escape from this. There's so many things Lucas can do here. Sweep, knee bar, heel hooks, okay? It only works for him if this leg is like this, like standing, posting. But if I cover like this, it's gonna be changed. It's gonna be a little harder for him right now. Try to do it. I keep his thigh between my legs, okay? And I squeeze super hard. Okay, we're gonna work on the same position we worked before. Last class. I'm gonna face outside, and I control his hip. Now I'm gonna roll facing outside, okay? And then I lock the figure four here. Bring him, and then look, I pinch my knees to this side here. Okay, don't let your leg be sideways. Don't stay with your body sideways, okay? I gotta be with my chest under his hip, figure four, and trap his thigh, okay? And then bring him over me like this, okay? Now from here, I can start catching his arm and switch for the twister, get in the back, okay? Again. here okay with him I'm gonna choose one side smash you see that I move my leg when I walk to the side look I go one now pay attention on this knee I don't stay with this knee here my left knee I go with my knee close to the other knee like right there all the way to the other side see one more time then go I walk okay once I'm here, okay, I'm gonna control his wrist here, just to prevent him uh, to frame on me. Now I trap the top leg, okay. I can cover both legs if I want to, okay, like this. But when I roll, I'm gonna be facing and trapping the top, the only one leg. Okay, I figure four, and I start bringing my my hip to the floor, pointing to the outside. Okay, right here, there's a lot of variations for me. I like to underhook this arm right here, okay? Now I switch my hooks. So one, the leg that was, that's inside, step over, and the other leg, my left leg, underhook, and I bend his knee so I can get the twister hook. Now, I start getting the butt, okay? 
If I trap just the top leg, it would be perfect too. One, two, look, hold here. Now look, my leg will knee cut over and then I frame here like, I'm gonna bring this knee to his chest, look over. Now I face outside, roll, keep his leg between my legs, figure four, drop my legs on the floor, control. Why I control here? Because if you try to turtle, try turtle, look his back, it's hard, okay? Now I start going this hand under his neck, and I start going to his back. And the twister. And you can get the choke. Okay? Do you guys understand? All right, let's try to practice this. Okay? One, two, three. That when I'm on my feet as well, okay? I can put his hooks inside, but when I have the hooks inside, I cannot let his hooks go away from his butt. Because if his hooks go away from his butt, he can shoot one leg through, like this, okay? So I go here and then I try to switch, it's hard for him. Now I go for the side smash, I go one, and then I knee cut the bottom leg here, like this, okay? As long as I have my, my foot covering, stapling the bottom leg, it's hard for him to work, for him to work on the uh, Sankaka position. If my leg passes here, that's when I need to worry about it, okay? If you keep your spine, right? So now look, you're gonna cover the top leg and then you must take the staple out and face all the way to his butt, like this. So you're pretty much ready to attack his back, okay? So guys, uh, you gotta control the thigh, not the leg, it's the, only the thigh. Because I can say, I'll control his leg, but if I control the calf, it's not gonna work. When I roll here, like this, I'll be too far for him, he can't take my back, okay? So it's, it's trapping his thigh between your legs, like this. And then you drop your hip over his chest and face this side. So your hands can be like scooping under his hip. Now I use my toes to push me and roll, okay, like this. And look, when I got here, I figure for this side and I focus on keeping his, his thigh between my legs. And now look, I start putting my foot on the floor. Try to go away from me, Lucas. Like, put your back on the floor and run away. It's hard, okay? But look, if I trap the shin, you go away from me, okay? So focus on trapping the thigh, okay? Right here. So his butt used to be really close to your groin here, okay? Turn around, turn around. Okay, so I, you can scoop here, but also you can grab a Kimura trap. I saw Andy doing that, it's really good too. Like grabbing the Kimura trap like this. Okay, or simply you can start attack the, the neck, whatever you feel more comfortable, okay? But I like being here and I like to bring him. I like to scoop this hand under and bring him close to me. So now it's easier for me to start switching my legs there, my hooks. Okay, this hook here. And then I start attacking this guy. Okay. In the last class, we learned how to do the position from the X guard. Let's say in case I let him put the X guard, right? So I turn, and I look, I'm gonna jump all the way to the other side. One, two, see? So you put yourself on that situation of side smash. Okay. If you came here last class, you guys can do this, okay? If you didn't, keep doing this position that we just worked, okay? Last you put on the X guard, put on the X guard right here. Look, what I gotta do is take this hook out, Okay, and stay sideways 90 degrees from him. Now, my outside leg go all the way, all the way to the other side. Look, my knee actually will be figure for his leg here, away, my leg here. And I'll bring the both knees on the floor here. Once I have that, look, I can face outside, roll, and I have the same position. Now I hook his arm, okay, scoop, and change my hook. Take his back. Okay? So you force yourself to go for the uh, side smash from the expert. Professor, what about if the guy on bottom put on heel hook? Get the heel hook there. And you start heel hooking. That's when you counter him. You know, you can counter him. Like, you can kick this, this arm here. Okay? With the outside, go heel hook. Uh, I kick, and then I go one, figure four, two, I start going to the position. Okay. 
The heel hook only works if it trap my other leg. If it trap this leg here, if I maintain this hook, then the heel hook will be really strong. Right away when I got here, I need to take this hook out like this. Now he start heel hook you. Okay, post on his leg. Don't post on the floor so you control so he doesn't put the hook back because if I'm here, you can put the hook back there. Okay, I just post. And now look, kick his leg. Bring my bonies to the side and face to his legs. Now look, figure four his thigh. Roll and drop my, knees, my foot on the floor. Now I start attacking his leg. Okay? If you came last class, you work from the X card. If you didn't, I skip working from the um, side smash. Okay? All right, one, two, three.